Hi guys, welcome to Life's and Job Channel. So, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited is hiring for the role of fixed term project associates for HP Green and Green R and D Center, Bangalore. So, for this job role, freshers can absolutely apply for this job. Both freshers can ap- experience can apply for this job, and in the education qualification must be before that. The online application opens on 1st September 2024 and the last date for online application is 30th to September 2024. So jo- job description for fixed term project associate to assist scientists carrying out research projects, prepare samples for establishing methods of analysis and carrying out routine analysis related to the assigned project, monitoring batch reactions for optimizing reaction conditions, running pilot plans and shifts. carry out any other jobs assigned by the reporting scientists or officers so it basically this job role is like a assistant research associate there will be someone who will guide you to the project and you have to be an assistant assistant to them so the educational and work experience so msc with chemistry chemistry or material science polymer science microbiology biosciences biotechnology can apply for this job and bsc with chemistry chemistry material science polymer science microbiology biosciences and biotechnology can apply for this job so if you have a pg diploma also can apply but they are expecting some experience and in diploma also so these are the note they have given so i'll read out whatever the instructions they have given and then i'll tell you how to apply for this job role So all candidates should have a proof of award of applicable degree diploma certificate and mark sheets on or before last date of receipt of application that is 30th September so everyone must have their diploma or degree certificates on mark sheets before 30th September 2024 second rule candidates belonging to general obc nc and ews category should have secured minimum 60% marks taking aggregate marks of all semester and years that's taking average of all the semesters years irrespective of weightage given to any particular subject and it's relaxed to 50% for sc st and pwd candidates third rule candidates with integrated courses can also apply so candidates with msc integrated courses on the above mentioned disciplines can also apply so candidates should have passed qualifying degree diploma examinations and awarded degree in the above mentioned discipline so the candidates with arrears cannot participate in this like you have to been awarded your degree candidates with arrears who have cleared can apply but you should have a degree in your hand right now all degree diploma qualification should be full time regular courses from aict approved ugc recognized university or deemed university so candidates who have done their degree with regular full time course are only eligible for this job so autonomous institution should be equal to the relevant courses approved by recognized by association of indian universities ugc aict next rule wherever cgpa dgpa or letter grade in a diploma or degree is awarded equivalent percentage of marks should be indicated in the application as per norms adopted by university institution so if they have given your marks as cgpa dgpa or other grades you have to convert them into percentage and mention in your application next rule soft copy of detail cv to be uploaded along with application form so this is very important rule guys you have to have a very good cv with good format and you have to submit along with the application form next rule teaching experience will not be considered as relevant work experience so eligibility criteria age criteria 28 years or below as on last date of receipt of application that is 30th september you must be 28 years or below only but there are some concessions and relaxations for age also so there are special reservations for post for sc st obc nc ews and pwbd persons with benchmark disabilities as per government directives so i'll upload this pdf in description you can check in description for link and you can download this pdf and you can read this concession and relaxations so i'll re- read along this sixth re- relaxation so maximum age limit is relaxed by 5 years for sc candidates that is if 
for general category it's 28 for sc it's 28 plus 5 33 years you can be maximum 33 years old if you are an sc candidate and three years for obc and c so you can be maximum of 31 years if you are obc and c candidate and 10 years for pwbd persons with benchmark disabilities that you can be 38 years so, and so on for the next candidate also as i said i'll give this in the description you can download this and you can check this rule so the selection will be made on the basis of screening of applications and testimonials as per the eligibility norms of eligible candidates followed by personal interview by the selection committee so in the event of number of applications being large the corporation will adopt shortlisting criteria to restrict the number of candidates to call for interview to a regional number by any one or more of one following methods so in in this five methods six methods they'll sort out candidates if there are many candidates applying for this job role so first method is on the basis of higher educational qualification than minimum prescribed in the advertisement so if they are hiring for bsc role and there are many bsc candidates applying for this job role they are also seek for an msc role, candidates also and second rule on the basis of higher experience in the relevant fields than minimum prescribed in the advertisement so they have not given any experience for bsc or msc candidates so if there are many freshers applying for this job so experienced candidates will be given first preference third rule third method on the basis of number of patents higher impact factor publications so if there are many candidates applying for this job role they'll sort out with candidates with having more number of patents or publications next method on the basis of application screening so they'll also sort out with by the application you submit also on the basis of resume also next method like work experience academic marks of all semesters years that is take taking average of all the semester or years irrespective of weightage given to any particular subject semester year or by institute or university if there are many candidates applying for this job role they'll also sort using your resume with work experience academic marks and taking aggregates so final method is by holding a written test they may also conduct a written test also and next rule incomplete applications will be summarily rejected make sure you complete the application and submit it properly so they'll filter out applications based on this type of above methods and after that they will publish a merit list which will be drawn for the candidates who are qualifying in the next round will be selection after the next round will be computer based test and personal interviews and offer of appointment would be as per the vacancy available and category and so next we'll see about the stipend an inclusive stipend of 40000 to 50000 will be awarded for the candidates per month depending on the qualification and experience is payable so from 40000 to 50000 only guys this includes accident insurance medical insurance etc the company does not provide any transport facility for commuting to office so you have to they will not provide any transport facilities however there is a sharing bus facility which has to be availed by the project associates on pay and use basis only so you can pay and use their transport what they use and breakfast and lunch facilities are provided at the office premises for which a nominal monthly lump amount will be deducted so for breakfast and lunch they provide but they will deduct some money for that too the premium towards in insurances will be deducted from the stipend so they will deduct insurance amount from the stipend too as part of the discharge of their duties they may be required to travel to other locations too work related travel expenses will be separately reimbursed as per entitlements so they'll take a physical or medical fitness test once you are selected and candidates with defective color vision is disqualified disqualified under pre employment medical norms of hpcl so how to apply log in to this website i'll put the website link in the description and click on current openings and visit fixed term project associate i'll put the job application form link in the description kindly check out guys so check this third rule 
you will be generated a unique 12 digit application or reference number please note that application or reference number it is very important and will be required for all future references throughout the selection process so kindly note that 12 digit number guys so make sure you give a valid email id and mobile number which will be an active number or mail id because all future communications to candidates will take place through email or phone numbers only so now let's see how to apply for this job go to your browser and type hpcl and op click on job openings so if you click on job openings open this one click on this one fdra and fdp rec recruitment so in that you have to click here to apply for this job so if you are new to this website you have to register yourself first and then log in so you have to enter your name you have to confirm your name then your last name and your full name your mobile number your email id and you have to fill this captcha so after completing registration you will get this and before registration they have to tell you one detail if you are putting your mail id make sure you you will receive an otp for verification of this mail id so while checking for mail for otp kindly check your spam box also so because i got in my spam spam box only not in my inbox for my mail id now you have to log in again using a mail id and password so you will get your password in your mail so kindly do check your mail so you have to select for your job role whether you are pg diploma candidate or diploma candidate or bsc msc phd and md because each job role has specific apply link to so i'm going to click for bsc so now you have to fill out these things what have they have asked you have to fill this everything and then you have to enter your contact details your qualification details your banking details your photo and resume and finally you have to prepare for your application so that's it guys if you have any doubt in applying for this job role you can dm me through instagram or you can put a comment below guys if you like this video please do like share subscribe to my channel guys thank you